Hey everyone, in today's 365 Ninja video, I'm going to show you how to create a new Outlook profile. Now there's a number of reasons you may want to do this, and I'll go into that in the post on 365ninja.com, but once you're ready to create a new profile, you actually will need to exit Outlook and go to your computer's control panel. So depending on what version of Windows you have, you can search like I'm going to do. Just quickly get to the control panel. Once you're here, I like to set my view to large icons so I know where everything is, and I'll click Mail. Click Show Profiles, and you'll click Add. Now you can create any name that will help you remember. I'll just create a test one. Now you'll add your account details. Most likely you're creating a profile based on the email account you already have. You just need a new Outlook profile so you can go through and add those same details. And now Outlook might take a few minutes to search for your settings and set up the mail server. Click Finish. And now you'll want to pay attention to this when starting Microsoft Outlook, use this profile either prompt for a profile to be used or always use this profile. So if something has gone wrong with your original profile, it's become corrupted or damaged in some way, you'll want to just click always use this profile and select your newest profile. Click apply, click OK, and then when you restart Outlook, it will start with your new profile. Hope that tip helped. For more tips and tricks like this one on Office 365 and Outlook 2013, please check back with 365ninja.com. Thanks.